Hello, my name is Tina and I'm a Dietetic Assistant Practitioner at Midlands Partnership University Foundation Trust. In this video I'm going to show you how to complete a MUST tool. You would complete a MUST tool to work out a MUST score for someone in your care who is at risk of malnutrition. MUST stands for Malnutrition Universal Screening Tool. The MUST tool can be used to screen patients to identify their risk of malnutrition. The MUST tool looks at body weight, height and percentage of unintentional weight loss over the last three to six months. Rapid or regular weight loss is a cause for concern and should be investigated. The MUST tool looks like this and you would access it through bapen.org.uk. As you can see, there are five steps to completing a MUST tool. Step one. BMI score. In the top left hand box under step one it shows you that if your patient has a BMI of over 20 this would give them a zero for step one. If they have a BMI of 18.5 to 20 this would score one and if their BMI is under 18.5 this would be a score of two for step one of the MUST tool. Step two is their weight loss score. This gives us a score for the amount of unintentional weight loss for your patient. You will need your patient's current weight and their heaviest weight from their weight history over the last three to six months. If your patient has lost less than 5% of their weight, this will score a zero for step two. If they have lost between five and 10%, this will score a one, and over 10% weight loss will score a two for step two of the MUST tool. Step three, acute disease effect score. This is looking at your patient's current medical condition. For patients who are acutely ill and there has been or is likely to be no nutritional intake for five days or more, a score of two would be added at this point. However, this is most likely going to apply to patients in hospital as if you are in a community setting and your patient is acutely ill and has had or is likely to have no nutritional intake for five days or more they need to be sent to hospital. Step four would be add the three scores together. Step one, your BMI score. Step two, your weight loss score. And step three, your acute disease effect score. This gives an overall score and risk of malnutrition. If the score is zero, this indicates a low risk of malnutrition. If the score is one, this would indicate a medium risk of malnutrition. And if the score is two or more, this indicates a high risk of malnutrition. Step five of the MUST tool indicates the management guidelines you should take to address your patient's risk of malnutrition. For low risk patients, you would repeat screening on a regular basis in hospitals weekly and in a care home at least monthly. Community would be repeat screening at least every two to three months. Medium risk, Document dietary intake for three days, if adequate, little concern and repeat screening for hospitals weekly, care homes at least monthly and community based at least every two to three months. If inadequate and there's clinical concern, follow local policy, set goals and document treatment plans. Improve and increase overall nutritional intake with food fortification and monitor and review care plans regularly. For high risk patients, refer to dietitians, nutritional support team or implement local policy. Monitor and review care plans, hospitals weekly, home monthly and community monthly unless detrimental or no benefit is expected from nutritional support, for example imminent death. All risk categories would need treatment of underlying conditions and provide help and advice on food choices eating and drinking when necessary. You would record malnutrition risk category and record the need for special diets and follow local policy. As you've seen, to complete a patient's MUST score, you will need a patient's BMI. If you do not have your patient's height and weight to work out their BMI, you can work out their height using their ulnar length. To measure an ulnar length, the subject's arm should be across their chest. Measure between the point of the elbow and the midpoint of the prominent bone of their wrist. 
left side if possible. Document the measurement and using the ulnar length table, use the measurement to help you to estimate your patient's height. For example, if the ulnar length of a 70 year old woman is 23.5 centimetres, the estimated height would be 1.56 metres. If you cannot for any reason obtain your patient's height through using ulnar length, an alternative measurement could be using mid upper arm circumference measurement. To measure a MUAC, the subject's left arm should be bent at the elbow at a 90 degree angle with the upper arm held parallel to the side of the body. Measure the distance between the bony protrusion on the shoulder and the point of the elbow. Mark the midpoint. Ask the patient to let their arm hang loose and measure around the upper arm at the midpoint, making sure that the tape measure is snug but not tight. If MUAC is less than 23.5 cm, BMI is likely to be less than 20. If MUAC is greater than 32, BMI is likely to be greater than 30. The use of MUAC provides a general indication of BMI and is not designed to generate an actual score for use with MUST. If for any reason you are unable to obtain measurements such as ulnar length or mid upper arm circumference measurements, you would then use subjective criteria. If height, weight or BMI cannot be obtained, the following criteria which relate to your patient can assist your professional judgment of the subject's nutritional risk category. Please note, these criteria should be used collectively, not separately, as alternatives to step one and two of MUST and are not designed to assign a score. Mid upper arm circumference or MUAC may be used to estimate BMI category in order to support your overall impression of the subject's nutritional risk. BMI, using your professional judgment and clinic impression of your patient. When looking at them, how do they look? Do they look thin? Do they look of an acceptable weight? Or do they look overweight? Obvious wasting and obesity can also be noted. Unplanned weight loss. Have their clothes and or their jewelry become loose fitting recently, which would indicate weight loss. Has there been a history of decreased food intake reduced appetite or swallowing problems over the last three to six months and any underlying disease or psychosocial physical disabilities likely to cause weight loss. Acute disease effect. Have they been or are they acutely ill and had no in nutritional intake or is there likelihood of no intake for five days or more? Thank you for watching.